there is this drama between Rose Mohando and Pastor James Nganga of Neno Evangelism Center. Today, I want to dissect this old drama and put it into perspective. But before I continue, kindly remember to subscribe. Now, there is this video of Rose Mohando and Apostle Nganga that has emerged online. In this video, Rose Muhando appears possessed by the demons, right? And Pastor Nganga is the one who is actually exorcising the demons out of Rose Muhando. And in my view, that's a very, very big problem. For many years, Rose Muhando remained the top gospel artist in the entire East Africa. She ruled the airwaves, right? She was the top on all radio stations. Her songs was always the anthem on most of the matatus, even here in Kenya, Tanzania, everywhere. But something went wrong. About two years ago, Rose Mohando became sick, right? What she termed as a strange illness. And that's the time when Rose Mohando's problem began, right? Now, there are people who say Rose Mohando should have gone for HIV test or cancer screening. She opted not to. In fact, there have been speculations that at some point she was bitten by a snake and probably this is what caused all these problems. Rose Muhando looked very, very weak, resigned and sickly. In fact, her legs were completely eaten up by the disease and her hands were covered to prevent people from seeing them. Right? You know, in church, there are also dark forces, which I'm not going to rule out in her case. But I want us to agree on one thing, that that particular video, which I hope you have actually watched, is actually stage managed by Pastor Nana. Remember, Rose Muhando is actually very desperate. She's desperate to get back to her feet. She's desperate to go back to her music but she can't because of her current situation, right? But now, Pastor Nganga saw an opportunity to exploit. And the opportunity is very simple. Rose Mohando, being a top gospel artist and who is a believer, who is now very desperate with so many sympathetic followers, provides a perfect opportunity for Pastor Nganga to further the gospel of demon exhaustion, right? Now, what this will mean is very simple. In the next few days, so many people will believe that actually Pastor Nganga exhausted demons from Rose Mohando, right? And Kenyans and generally East Africans or Africans in general will start flocking that particular church for the same, right? And that's where the problem is. What Muhando needs is not demon extortion. Muhando should actually be taken to a serious medical facility where her condition will be reviewed. And possibly at the end of it, she should also be taken for a rehabilitation center. Because the way this thing has gone, the lady has a mental problem, right? Remember, when Pastor Nganga's wife was ill, I think she was suffering from cancer based on what I read online, right? She was taken to India for medical attention, right? This is what should happen in the case of Rose Muhando. Muhando needs to be taken to a medical facility and medical examinations done properly, even if it means taking her out of the country. So if Pastor Nganga really wants to help the lady, what he needs to do he needs to book for her the first available flight to either India or the US and look for her there in those particular countries, the best medical facilities where her conditions can be examined. I know we have local doctors who can actually diagnose where the problem is because the condition this lady is suffering, we've seen it here before. And Governor Sonko has actually helped so many cases who are even in this particular situation. I remember 
Joho also intervening in a, a similar case in Mombasa. And I think the lady was taken to, I think, America for further medical checkup. This is what should be done to this lady. Not to parade her before a congregation. Yeah? And to conclude, I think Rose Muhando has been such a blessing to so many people that we must offer our support and pray with her and pray for her so that she can get out of this entire mess right because from the look of things it appears the lady also suffers from drug addiction right thank you so much for watching